Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dholakia, is going to explain you 8 cross 1 mux designing using 4 cross 1 mux. And you can see my previous videos even to understand this, where I have already explained how we can design higher order mux using lower order mux. So, in that, first step is to identify how many lower order mux required to implement higher order mux. Right. So, here, first step is to identify how many 4 cross 1 mux required to get 8 cross 1 mux. So, as if you want to identify how many 4 cross 1 mux is required to get 8 cross 1 mux, then first we need to divide higher order mux divided by lower order mux. So, higher order is 8, lower order is 4. So, that division that is 2. Now again we need to repeat this division. So this 2 divided by 4 that again I am doing and that is equals to 0 0.5 and I need to repeat this division till my division is 1 or less than 1. So here this is 0 0.5 which is less than 1. So I need to stop this division over here. Now total mux total 4 cross 1 mux required to get 8 cross 1 mux is equals to 2 plus 0 0.5 so that is 2.5 so you cannot use 2.5 mux so you will have to use 3 mux over here right and see 3 mux that we can have it without having any additional gate so when you use 4 uh, 3 4 cross 1 mux in that case you don't need any additional gate but here you might be having idea like in books you have seen you can have 8 cross 1 mux implementation by 4 cross 1 mux using 2 4 cross 1 mux right so i'll explain both of the ways in first case i'll explain you implementation of 8 cross 1 mux by using 2 4 cross 1 mux and after that i'll explain same implementation of 8 cross 1 mux by using 3 4 cross 1 mux so before that let me give you the truth table which is there with 8 cross 1 multiplexer so in 8 cross 1 multiplexer if i say i have three selection lines s2 s1 s0 and my output is y in that case my output y that will be based on inputs right and at selection line there are total 8 combinations and when selection line is 0 0 0 at that time my output is i0 when 0 0 1 at that time output is i1 when 0 1 0 output is i2 when 0 1 1 output is i3 when 1 0 0 at that time output is i4 when 0 1 0 at that time output is i5 when 1 1 0 at that time output is i6 and when 1 1 1 at the time output is i7 right now here first i'll explain you how we can implement 8 cross 1 mux by using 2 4 cross 1 mux so here i'm using 2 4 cross 1 mux you see this is my 1 4 cross 1 mux and here i have second 4 cross 1 mux now with this two mux we have four inputs so here we have four inputs here even we can have four inputs and both of this is having one output and both of this mux is having two selection line right so this is how two mux are there now let us give naming so it will be giving with more resolution so let us say this is my output y1 and let us say this is my output y2 and here i am giving inputs i0 i1 i2 i3 and here my inputs are i4 i5 i6 and i7 now you see with both of these mux i am giving s0 s1 selection line so what happens with respect to this selection line output will come right so how to separate my output from i0 to i3 and i4 to i7 so that separation 
that we can have by having cheap enable so see if i say this is what cheap enable one and this is what cheap enable two right now if if i have see s2 selection line over here and that is what directly i'm connecting with e2 cheap enable two and by having one inverter i'm connecting it with e1 right then what will happen you see as if this s2 is equals to zero in that case here cheap enable one that will be one and cheap enable two that will be zero so in that case y2 will be zero and y1 that will get selected with respect to s1 and s0 and when this s2 is equals to one in that case this e1 that will be zero and this e2 that will be one so at that time y1 will be zero and y2 output that will be with respect to s1 and s0 and as if you do oring of this two terminal then resultant output y that is addition of this two so you'll be finding that functioning is similar to eight cross one multiplexer right but here one thing that we need to see here we have formed eight cross one multiplexer by using this additional or gate and this additional not gate right now see in in mux tree we don't use additional gate in mux tree we implement higher order mux using lower order mux only so now i'll explain you how we can form 8 cross 1 mux using 4 cross 1 mux without having any additional gate so in that case we need to use 3 4 cross 1 mux so let me explain you how to implement that so all we need to do is we need to use 2 4 cross 1 mux first in parallel and we need to use 1 4 cross 1 mux over here now with this 4 cross 1 mux you can see there are 4 inputs and one output with each 4 cross 1 mux and with this 4 cross 1 mux there are 2 selection line you can see right now let us give naming to each of the terminal so see here we have i0 i1 i2 i3 here we have i4 i5 i6 and i7 input and here now i'm having s1 and s0 s1 and s0 input right now what i'm doing is i'm connecting this terminal over here and this terminal over here so in this case this two terminal that is floating terminal floating means we are not using it right so let us say this is zero and this is first terminal so how to select this so for that if i say i have zero and one over here so i need to keep one as a floating and i need to give input to this terminal which is s2 so as if s2 is equals to zero in that case this mux will get selected and as per s1 s0 output will appear over here and as if s2 is equals to one in that case this line will get selected right and with respect to this line our output will be from i4 to i7 with respect to s1 s0 so this is how we can form 8 cross 1 mux here you can say this can be floating terminal or you can ground it so there are two ways one is by having floating terminal and second is by grounding all these terminals so here we don't use enable line as well as here we don't use any external gate so here we don't use any extra gate without extra gate we can form 8 cross 1 mux right you can see even for example if i say i have s2 
एस वन एस जीरो एज वन जीरो वन लेट एस टेक दिस केस सो हियर एस टू इज इक्वल्स टू वन इट मीन्स विच टर्मिनल विल गेट सिलेक्टेड दिस टर्मिनल नाउ एस वन एस जीरो दैट इज जीरो वन सो वॉट इट मीन्स दिस आई फाइव विल गेट सिलेक्टेड सो आई फाइव विल बी ओवर हियर आई फाइव विल कम ओवर हियर एंड माई आउटपुट विल बी आई फाइव राइट नाउ सी इफ यू ऑब्जर्व एस टू इज जीरो सो एस टू इज जीरो मीन्स दिस टर्मिनल शुड गेट सिलेक्टेड एंड इफ एस टू इज वन इन दैट केस दिस टर्मिनल विल गेट सिलेक्टेड सी दैट इज हाउ यू कैन हैव सेम फंक्शनिंग एज इट इज देर विथ एट क्रॉस वन मार्क्स I hope that you have understood this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is based on your suggestions. In future, I'll make videos which will resolve your queries.